When I was a teenager, there was a film that was popular called Lady Hawk. And it was a fantasy tale. One of the characters in this film was a thief called Philippe, played by Matthew Broderick. And I just remember something that he said in that film that's always stuck with me. He was a thief. He was somebody who escaped from, from a prison. And he constantly spoke to God. God was constantly on his mind. And he even commented this to one of the other characters, that he always speaks to God. God is a, a reality in his life. And I thought that this was so powerful and so meaningful when we look at this week's Parsha, Parshat Va'etchanan. Because Parshat Va'etchanan contains within it the creed of the Jewish people. Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Listen O Israel, Hashem is your God, Hashem is one. And then it says, Va'haftet Hashem Elokecha. You shall love Hashem your God with all of your might and all of your strength and all of your means. And the question is, how can you love God? How can you love God? How is it possible? We have relationships with human beings. We love our children. We love our spouse. We love our parents. We love our friends. But how is that possible? How did we come to love those people? We came to love them because we have a relationship with them. And it's a relationship in which we invest a lot of time. You can't love somebody that you, you don't know and you don't spend any time with. And therefore, the answer to how do you love Hashem, because Hashem, of course, is intangible, is infinite, is, is omnipotent. How can a, an, a finite being come to love Hashem? The answer is in the next verse. That these words which I command you today shall be with you all of the time. But You must speak about them all of the time. When you walk on the road, when you're sitting in your house, you must tie them as a sign upon your arms and upon your head, and you must write them on the mezuzot. What is the Torah telling? You know, it's hard to love anybody. You have to invest in the relationship. But how much more so when it comes to Hashem is invisible? You have to invest in that relationship. And how do you do that? Come to know Hashem. How do you know Hashem? Hashem is infinite. By studying these words of the Torah. Because this is where Hashem reveals Himself to us. This is the only way that we can have a connection with Hashem. By studying the Torah all of the time. No matter where we may be. We may be on holiday. We may be traveling. We may be at work. But we have to have an ongoing connection to Hashem. We have to have signs, mitzvot, that remind us of our relationship with Hashem all of the time. The tefillin, the mezuzah, the talis. One cannot just be a Jew and have a casual relationship with God. It's got to be something that's consistent. It's got to be something that's all of the time. And by studying the Torah and doing the mitzvot, you will come to love Hashem and to know that Hashem is our God and Hashem is one. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.